Well, it's 5.46 in the morning and I've given up the ghost to set the alarm for 6 and how much sleep did I have last night? Not a lot. Two hours, ten minutes. I don't know if I'm excited or what. So that's 24 hours at least. I think I'm not going to get any sleep tonight, today. But uh, I didn't I, I was up at half past four yesterday morning. That's our air, airport view. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> a bit knackered, rough as a hedgehog, uh, but uh, yeah, we're all set for the flight now, taxi's picking us up at 7 o'clock, um, said they said get down 10 minutes beforehand, uh, that's co that cost us £20, 20 quid, it's, yeah. it's from um, Premier Inn. Could have gone a bit later in the taxi, but they were all booked the later ones. Yeah, so. I wouldn't want to go later anyway. But uh, yeah, it's, it's cost us twenty pound on the shut this shuttle uh, from Premier in Manchester Airport to Terminal Two, which I thought was a bit expensive. I'm sure we could have got a taxi cheaper. But anyway, next time you see us, we'll hopefully be at the airport, either dropping the bags off or in the lounge. So. Stay tuned. Well, that was fast track security. Stressful as what? Well, that was so that stressful. Was really, for fast track. I've got a sweat on, haven't I? Because it's going through there. My hat got stuck, I think, in some form of conveyor belt, which held things up for people to be out of. But, uh, I have to have a shoes x rayed. Yeah, Sarah got her shoes x rayed. So it's stinky shoe time. Lounge. We're going to do a bit of duty free shopping, aren't we? Yeah, I want think. Some perfume. Yeah, you want some perfume? Yeah, I just want to spray myself with some perfume. Yeah, fr freebies. I stink now after going through that. Yeah, you've got, you got a right sweat on, bless her. I, I think, I honestly think that that's the most stressful part of flying is with security. But that's us, we're stressed anyway, aren't we? But um, we've just looked at our ticket, we've got the Escape Lounge, which comes with two of premium. So. That's a first for us. Yeah, if we were flying premium, we've trashed ourselves, haven't we? So, um, I always thought we only had two hours, but that chap said, just go in now. So, probably saved a bit of money. Yeah, go in, get something to eat. Yeah. Try your name's going to be Right, okay, no problem. Yeah, the, ki the kids are looking for chocolate at the minute, so. You can find the biggest bar of chocolate in the airport. And there they are. Happy days! Happy days! <laughs> They're getting free freebie perfume, aren't they? Yeah, bottling up. All right, mate, you've lost weight. I haven't seen you for ages. Where are you going? Oh, Tenerife. Very nice. Would you like some bum bum cream? Is it firming? This is the firming. It's a firming bum bum cream. I'm getting to that age where it is getting a little bit saggy. Where do you rub that? Is it for your ass? That exfoliates. Your bum? Is this all bum cream? Bum, it's infused. With what? With guarana extract. Yeah, but where do you rub it? Award winning all over body cream. Oh, all over. How yeah. much is it? Dread thing. I don't know, I might get some though. Will you help me apply? Help me apply? No. It's £18. Get two. The escape lounge upstairs. We're delayed for two hours, so we can't go in the lounge till half past ten. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're just going to have to have something to eat here. 
Right, we're at the escape lounge. That's a bit of a delayed entry because the plane's obviously delayed two hours, but got myself some bacon and some sausages and a breakfast Bloody Mary. But first time in a lounge. It's alright, isn't it? They've just started doing the dinner at the escape lounge and it's salad and sandwiches. I thought it'd be chicken. Like afternoon tea. I know, but I thought it'd be like chicken and chips and stuff like that. Just taking the, um, you've got alcohol. She's taking the stuff away, so she's, she's going to be putting stuff out, I think. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's what I've said. I'm sure they're going to come out. The bacon was nice. And the sausages were nice. We've made it to the plane. Two hours delay, but it wasn't too bad. The lounge, um, it was alright. The bacon was nice, sausages were nice. They did put some chicken on, um, which I did try, but it didn't look too cooked for me. But yeah, it was alright. It was the escape lounge. But, on our way, Sarah? Yeah, we got split up as well, didn't we? Yeah, we, me and Amy, we got on the first bus and left because Samuel got done for extra security and Sarah and Samuel were still in the terminal. Not really, no, but um, quite impressed really with what you get, amenity kit and stuff, so let's see what it's like when we actually get there as well but well, i think the excitement can start now don't you are you all right kids yeah fine yeah blanket, yeah, blanket. <laughs> i think samuel's gonna go to sleep let's see what the movie selection is so turn Oh, there's the Batman. Not a lot. The thing is, we've got that many streaming sites at home. We've probably seen most of these. Robot Brawl. Robot Brawl. I haven't seen Lightyear yet. Is that a new one? No. Well, that's it. That's your new releases. Where's Lightning? On new releases. Because I like me more than you. Oh, that's good. Then you're lucky then, aren't you? Some decent stuff on. And then we've got the we've gone for the complimentary sparkling wine. Cheers. Chin chin. Sorry, Sam. That's the visitors area viewing area that we were, we were at yesterday. It's got a fun fair as well.
and those nicotine products that resemble cigarettes. First one, the nibbles. Cheesy. Cheesy biscuits. Drink service has just arrived. I've got a Jack Daniels and Coke and a beer. Sarah's got two beer, beers. A beer. I think Samuel has got. Samuel, He's got Jack Daniels and Coke. And then show, show what you found you. Uh, what you've got. And they don't have them on this flight, they're only for shirt holes, but they managed to find two. So, very happy girl. The, and it's the last time she can have a drink for two weeks. Yeah. Twenty. So she's she's not happy, but I think these are the best cabin crew that we've had. Up to, up to now, they're friendly, chatty. I'm really impressed with them. So, um, they've taken our order for food. Sarah's gone for vegetarian. She's having nook nooky. Okay. Nookie. That's the first blue. Nookie. Yeah, they did. What is it? Nookie. Samuel's having nook nook nookie. I'm having um, beef. beef. In a blue peppercorn sauce. Yeah, in a peppercorn sauce. Yeah, peppercorn sauce. I don't, I don't know what Amy's got for me. What, what's Amy having? Oh, the chicken. chicken. Oh, and Amy's having the chicken. So we'll see what that looks like. Up to now, very impressed. But not very impressed with the films. I've got there's nothing really I want to watch uh, apart from uh, Thor. I watched that and that's it. So I might just listen to Spotify that I've downloaded. Keep looking up there. But yeah, up to now, I'm feeling a hell of a lot more relaxed. I'm going to try to get some sleep though because as you saw earlier, I didn't get any sleep last night. Two hours sleep, and I, the day before that I was up at half past four that morning. So I'm just sort of running off. Vapors. But um, when the food comes, I'll show you that. And here we have the in flight meal on premium bread, salad. Sarah's just had hers, she said it's very nice with cheese. Um, what's that? It's a salad with them. I think that's tiramisu. And that is a. That's seriously, so that's a lemon meringue. So, this is the beef. Yeah, that looks alright. And Sarah's gone for the cup. The hockey. That's in there. Oh, yeah, it's got them. Show you hockey. It looks like, it looks like big broad beans. It looks alright. Well, yeah, it looks, it looks pretty nice. Oh, and of course, the wine. And modern family. We're about just under halfway now. Just under halfway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the food was probably the best we've had on the plane. Um, the, the beef I had was really nice. Sarah enjoyed yeah. her. Um, and the knock knock the vegetarian, uh, Kids enjoyed those? Are you alright? Are you alright? Yeah, just very tired. Very tired. Yeah, he seems to be alright with his flying. So he's, he's actually moved around because it's the first time we've been on a plane and he's actually gone to the loo. He's used it that scared he wouldn't stand up. It was that bad we had him at a, was it a therapist? Which I hit the therapist. Hit the therapist. Cost us about £600. And I think at the end of it, all she did was regress him and found out who he died as a fa fighter pilot in World War II. That's why he didn't like heights. And that's why he didn't like heights. So £600, and we just found out he died in a, I think it was a Metischmitt. It wasn't on our side. But yeah, he's, he's doing all right. I would say something that's very family friendly. <laughs> Right, we're over Canada. I was really excited because I'm a fan of a programme called um, The Curse of Oak Island and we flew over Oak Island. I was very chuffed, went over the, probably means nothing to a lot of you, but went over the swamp. Big fan of the show, made my day. Sad, innit? 
top, top pocket fan. You, you hate the you hate the show. She hates the show. I know it's takes a bit of out to watch it because all the seem to found it. I think on season 20. They dig lots and lots of holes but they never find them. They keep going to suspense. Keep finding wood. Big sort of top pocket fans. Top pocket fans. Anyway, Canada. We've arrived, we are now on the coach. We're family. Hiya. <laughs> that was a good flight, wasn't it, Amy? Uh, yeah, it was oh. nice actually. Yeah, it was a long flight, but it was a good flight. It went by quickly for me. I'm very impressed with premium. Are you? Yeah. And it's, it's a lot less stress spoilers anyway coming through. Now, yeah, spoilers now, but it's a lot less stress coming through Melbourne Airport anyway, once you arrive, but um, fast track secure at Manchester Airport baggage drop everything really smooth so we're just in the coach now we'll go into the hotel and then um, we'll probably nip to Walgreens to get something um, so we'll show you the room when we get there but I think we're absolutely shattered so I don't think any of us got much sleep at all last night I got two hours according to the watch but um, I I think it'll probably be an early night. I'm looking at if we'll probably end up going to bed at 10 o'clock. So, no, no earlier than 10 o'clock. And hopefully it'll get us a little bit onto the uh, the American time zone, Florida time zone. So, next stop, hotel. We've arrived. We've done a thing. <gasps> Look what we've got. 
Yeah. Yeah, Sarah needs to sit because her, her back's playing up a little bit. I think it was fast and furious. She was a bit too fast and a bit too furious. She had, she had the back with G4 or something.